right, today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at the Turtle Blimp. This is the 2021 Walmart exclusive reissue slash remake slash, uh, it's a bit of a mess to really describe, honestly, but essentially this is the old Turtle Blimp that we all know and love with some subtle changes or not so subtle changes, depending on how you look at it. But again, this kind of goes in line with the rest of the Walmart reissues thus far. We've already got the carded Turtles, all four, and then we also got a reissue of the Party Wagon, again, with some subtle changes on that one versus the original uh, Playmates release. However, Right out of the gate, you can tell that the aesthetic of the box and the artwork for the most part is pretty accurate and pretty close to the original one. There are changes, obviously, because this is not 100% faithful. It's not a full on reproduction. It is basically a, you know, a hodgepodge old meets new type of thing. So what you're missing in the original packaging in the bottom left hand corner here, you would have the kid playing with the toy, you know, a nice little um, picture there. And then you'll notice the turtles, if you're very familiar with the original artwork, are a little out of sorts. So for the most part, they have their little comic bubbles here where they all have little speech things, where they all have their little sayings. That's, that's normal. That is accurate to the original box art. However, they are out of position. And the main reason they are out of position is because the glider that is attached to this specific blimp in this 2021 product well, that's not the original glider that we got back in 1989. In fact, it's 100% different. This is, in fact, the glider that came attached to the 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Nickelodeon blimp. Uh, completely different product altogether, but essentially what they've done is they've taken the old school 1989 artwork and the old school 1989 blimp itself and then added on the 2012 glider to the product. So the turtles are a little bit out of position because this is a completely new glider. Again, no bombs here. We got the little uh, repelling mechanisms that we found on that 2012 glider, but it does still have the same kind of artwork stylistic, you know, call outs. We got blows up to 30 inches long. Up top, you get the Nickelodeon's Turtle Blimp classic packaging. Um, you get a new uh, action shot here of the turtles hanging down from the glider, getting ready to repel. Um, it's made to look old, so it's got this yellow, dingy background. Same kind of thing around the back side of the box. Back side of the box, we got the yellow, off-color, khaki-style um, background. And then we got our action feature call-outs, the nifty patch included. Blows up to 30 inches long. But yet again, the big differences are going to be the glider down below. Now, if you're not a big fan of the 2012 glider being on this, I guess you could hodgepodge, go on eBay, and find yourself an old glider and probably attach it. Um, but again, you're gonna have to make some concessions. This was at Walmart priced online, $34.97 I think was the retail price. So, I mean, for most Turtle fans, you'll just be happy to have the artwork in the box for $35. Mine miraculously showed up without any dents, bangs, or smashes from the Walmart online purchase. I'll put product links down in the video description box below if you wanna to try to check this out on walmart.com. Um, obviously stock is gonna be, you know, in and out. So you'll probably have your best luck when this actually starts showing up in stores at Walmart, just like the party wagon and just like the turtles themselves. But let's go ahead and check out for you in the box collectors, how much shelf space you'll have to dedicate because this is a pretty decent sized box. 16 and a half inches wide, 12 inches tall and it is going to be five inches deep. So keep that in mind if you're an in-the-box collector, but I'm an out-of-the-box guy, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, get the trusty box knife out. Try not to cut my finger off. And I would expect there's not a whole lot to it on the inside of this thing, because if you remember the old blimp, well, there wasn't much to it as well. And sure enough, yep, just as I suspected. So. Basically a lot of cardboard filler. And what's the inside here? Yeah, there's the blimp itself. It's way in the box here. There we go. We have the blimp, instructions. And we have the glider zip tied in the pieces there. So let me and as you would expect, of course, you get an instruction little diagram that shows you how to operate and put everything together. Very straightforward, but basically while the Blimp is deflated. You're going to attach the little shark fin type things and I've already put on three, but basically all you're gonna do is find the notches, line it up, make sure you got the fins pointing the right way and then secure that little notch inside the fin. Make sure you get it nice and snapped in there because it is essentially just a little plastic grommet, but it goes in there and you got all the fins attached. Now the glider, like I said, this is the 
2012 glider, not the original 1989. So you're not dropping bombs. There's no trigger or anything like that. Uh, you'll notice the wheels right here. These are actually molded and painted. They don't roll. The original one had rolling wheels. So when you played with it on a table or something like that, it would slide around. But basically it just comes in a few pieces. You got the uh, bottom side front wheels again, faux. They don't actually roll or anything like that, but basically you're just gonna line it up, snap it in there. So now the wheels are there. You've got these dangling hooks for the repelling mechanism. Then you also have these little chair C grip type things. And those go right here in these spaces. And of course this is hard for me to do with a camera in front of me. There we go. But they just snap into place like that. And then you can have your turtles sitting right here, getting ready to repel. And then when you're ready to get them to repel, take them out of that and then hook them here and you'll be good to go. And let's just test out the fitment. I got an old school turtle here, seeing better days, but voila, seems sturdy enough in those little seated positions. So let me blow up the balloon and we'll get moving forward. All right, and here we have the behemoth fully put together, glider assembled, fully inflated, and it is a big toy, make no mistakes about it. So you get the tape measure out and it's about 21 and a half inches tall. And then as advertised, it is over 30 inches long, closer to 31 inches. So it is a big toy. Now we've already made mention of it several times in the video, but it does, you know, need repeating. This glider is not the original glider and there's obviously some changes uh, you'll have to be made. So it does fit your old school turtles. However, uh, the scaling, like I said, it's a little off because this glider was not intended for these old school Playmate 88 toys. So. I was able to get the handlebars in Donatello's hands. I uh, kind of had to like squeeze them together a little bit just to get them in his hands. Didn't feel fragile like it was gonna snap off or anything like that. But as you can see, he's not exactly in his uh, seat seated position. He's just kind of hovering there because of those grips. And this front part actually does toggle a little bit, wiggles back and forth, up and down. And I've already taken it out of his hand mistakenly just by wiggling it. But your turtles will fit inside this glider if you do have your old school turtles still or if you've got any of these Walmart reissues. Uh, the blimp itself, for the most part, everything is accurate to 88. One thing to note, and I can't remember if this was on the original or not, uh, the box has a call out for you know an attachment up here to where you can hang it from the ceiling and mount it. Uh, it shows one on the front, one on the back. The blimp itself doesn't have anything on it. In fact, it looks like it used to have one in some sort of manufacturing process, and it looks like they removed it because there's this uh, kind of raised shiny piece of the vinyl here where it looks like something was removed. Nothing like that towards the front, but unfortunately to uh, my disappointment, there are no hangers on this. And I can't remember if the original one had it. I want to say the box similar to this box showed it, but the product didn't have it. Uh -oh. It looks like bad news for April oh, O'Neil. Look at this. The Ace reporter don't have a trunk. Yeah, but she's got a turtle. Look, it's the turtle whip. <laughs> that flip heartbreak bombs away. Guess who's dropping by in the turtle trooper? Hey, dudes, let's crash. Where are you going, uh, on? The fins are completely different, so these are not the fins that we got on the original Playmates release. These are again, akin to the 2012 release, as is the paint scheme aesthetic down here. But overall, it's $35. You get pretty much as close to possible with the OG box art. In my opinion, that's almost worth it in itself because this is a very pricey um, toy to find originally still in the box. Obviously there'll be uh, people that are, you know, not a fan of this and that, that's fine. If you want the original toy, you want a full fledged 100% reproduction, this is not the toy for you. However, if you're looking for something that's not gonna break the bank, gives you that old school aesthetic artwork on the box and for the most part, nails the details of the product, then this is probably something you'll be interested. And one last thing to test out, we'll test out the little repel functionality here. So I'm just gonna get one of these hooks, attach it to your turtle, just get Raphael here. Hook it to the back there, should be good. Now see, he's just dangling. And when I push this button, he should slowly, or actually probably quickly repel. So we'll find out if it works. And voila, he did, he repelled right off the table. But good to see that works. Unfortunately, it doesn't retract. You have to kind of rewind it and retie it. 
go back to square one to start again, but the mechanism does work, so that's great. And it does balance itself on the table. I just wish it did have that mounting up top, but overall $35, I'm, I'm excited and I'm happy to have this in my collection and I'm happy with my purchase. Is this something you're interested in? Would you prefer it to have had the full-fledged bombs away glider of the original? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot. Thank you.